Today we're going to talk about creating VBA code that allows you to open a file where the file name actually contains a date with it. So in this example here we have a folder containing a daily inventory report. Begins The file name begins with the word inventory and ends with the date on the end. So what we'd like to do is create code in VBA where when it runs a input box pops up and specifies a date to enter, enter the date of the file you want to open. So you type that in and then it opens a file based on the date you specify, copies the data in that file and then pastes it into this template because this template contains formulas that look at the inventory levels and then generates anything with low inventory into this order form to restock the inventory. So we'll get started here. So to get back into the VBA editor window we need to hit the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. We're going to insert a new module. We'll call this subroutine order inventory and we're going to have uh, a few variables here so we're going to start out by declaring our variables with the keyword dim the first variable is going to be our date that the user will specify so we're just going to call it enter date and the data type is obviously going to be a date we're also going to have a path variable and when you specify a path when you're opening a file uh, that's usually in strings uh, in double quotes so that's going to be a file type string. We're also going to declare a couple of object variables We're just going to uh, call it one WB for workbook and that's going to be a workbook because we want this workbook that we're writing in code we just want to refer to WB rather than have to you know type out the full workbook and we're going to specify a range within this workbook and that's a range so now we've declared our variables we're going to assign values to our variables so our first variable enter date is going to be equal to input box method so if you hit control and spacebar and start typing input box you'll see it there and that has some additional arguments um, the only one we really care about is this first one the prompt that's the message that displays with the input box so we're just going to say enter file date our next variable we're going to assign a value to is our path where the files are located and the easiest way to do that is to go to the folder where your files are located and copy the path and then this needs to start out with double quotes so we'll drop that in there. Now, in addition to pasting the path in, uh, you got to keep in mind that our file names begin with the word inventory. So what we need here is another backslash or forward slash and the word inventory. And then a space because there's a space between the word inventory and the date. So now what we're going to do is join our enter date input box variable to this. And you need to use the and symbol to do that. And we also need to format this date um, in the exact format that these files are in. So you can see we have a, you know, if it's a single digit, uh, month it's expressed as a single digit uh, followed by a dash 
two digit day dash four digit year so it has to be in that exact format otherwise it'll say file not found when the code runs so we're going to insert the format argument with this date variable and the format is going to be enclosed in double quotes exactly as how the file name displays it. So now we need to do another and to join uh, more text because you know these are Excel files they end in the Excel SX extension so we need to enclose this in double quotes and type you know dot xlsx so now we need to assign values to our object variables so we have our workbook and this oh let me back up for a sec these are object variables so they need to begin with keyword set um, so our workbook is going to be equal to if you hit control and space again and start typing this workbook that just assigns this workbook that object variable name and we need to set our range which is going to be equal to uh, where we want to begin the pasting so it's going to be b1 because those files contain these headers So now we would run our code, we would get this input box prompt where the user would enter the file date they want to open. So now um, what we want to do is begin typing workbooks open. The file name is actually going to be our path variable. And once this file is opened, it will be the active workbook. So um, what these files look like you know they contain data beginning in range A1. So you just have to think about um, what kind of data you have. What we want to do is just type the word range a1 followed by second range a1 because we want to end excel down and then end excel to the right to select all that data and we want to copy that entire data set on that file. So then what we want to do is specify our workbook variable that we set and just say activate and then once it's activated our range object variable we just want to paste special And you can see you get an additional set of options here. What kind of paste? We just want to paste values. So we'll save this. We'll go ahead and let me just rename this uh, down here. We'll just say order inventory. So now we'll run our macro out of here. So the first thing we get is a prompt for the file date. And you 
can see it opens that file, copies the data, pastes it in our template, which then uh, generates our inventory order form based on any, you know, any item that has inventory less than 2,500 units in the quantity on hand column. So you can see this data is still copied right now. Um, maybe I can do this a little slower just so you can see how that all that plays out. Um, I can run it just a little bit at a time. Might need to minimize the window here if I can. So we'll F8 through this. So we get our message, input box message prompt that asks us to enter the file date. And since we formatted it a certain way, we can enter it, you know, in any date format we want, and it should still uh, put it in the correct format. So I hit F8 here. You can see it copies our data, opens it, copies it activates our original workbook, and then paste special values in those cells. So that is how you can create code to open a file with the date attached to it. Thanks for watching, guys.